you ever wanted to learn a functional programming language but been pushed away whenever you found that variables are immutable and can never change? Well, don't worry, it's really not that big of a deal. In a functional programming language, you can declare and initialize variables just like in a non-functional one, but you can't change them after that. So what do you do when you want to make some kind of change? Well, it's easy. Just make a new variable that contains the change that you want to make. Want to add something to a number? Just make a new variable. Glue two strings together? New variable. Cut out the second element of an array and add a new one onto the end? That's right, make a new variable. Sometimes this is pretty easy, but in a language like JavaScript, it can be hard to find functions that do more complex things with arrays and objects. But in an actual functional programming language, or maybe let's say a JavaScript library that lends itself to functional programming, there are a ton of functions that can help you out with this sort of thing. So just make sure you sift through the documentation and find something that'll work for you. In fact, whenever I was first learning functional programming, I almost thought I was doing it wrong. It felt so much like I was changing the data, I thought there was no way it was actually immutable. So don't let the whole immutability thing throw you off. It's really not that big of a problem once you start doing it. So go ahead and pick up a functional language that appeals to you and see what you can do with immutable values. It really probably isn't as bad as you think.